Hello YouTube. Today we're going to be going over the components of my editing rig. The heart of this system is Lenovo K450E system. Um, there's multiple configurations. The one I chose, the number is 57328802. This configuration comes with a i7 processor running at 3.6 gigahertz. Um, it also has an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 750, which is a 2 gigabyte graphics card, and also it has 32 gigs of DDR3 RAM. I thought that would be plenty of horsepower to get through. Just, you know, I do amateur YouTube videos and stuff like that. I thought this would have plenty of power to do all that stuff. And so far, it's been working out pretty good. Um... I decided to go with a pre-built system because I didn't want to have to deal with trying to build my own PC. I, I think at this day and age, it's not that difficult to build your own, but I've never done it before. I didn't want to run into any problems with cooling or compatibility, so I did decide to go the pre-built route. Uh, so far, I'm happy with it, and uh, it's been working out good. Uh, the next big component that goes into this system is the monitor because after all if you're doing video editing and any computing gaming this goes for anything you know you're going to want to see what you're looking at clearly and you want to have an accurate representation of you know what your video looks like from the real world um, i decided to go with the 24 inch samsung uh, the model number is s24d590pl so this is a pls display um, Resolution is 1080, which I guess is pretty standard these days. Um, I was trying to decide whether I want to go higher res than 1080. I decided to settle on 1080 because it is pretty much the standard, and that's what my end render is in. Um, the benefit of going with a higher resolution is you just get more real estate on your screen, but it also the price goes up. So it's really a factor of how much you want to spend to how much real estate you want on your monitor. Now, my thought was eventually I could do a dual monitor setup if I wanted to. So far, uh, just the single monitor is good. Um, when I am editing, my preview window is smaller than 1080p, obviously, but the final render typically for me is in 1080, so I could view the final render full screen and it's accurate, you know, one-to-one -one, uh, for pixels, uh, what my render would be. Uh, now, the one thing I'd like to mention, because I did research a lot of these components for a while and tried to pick the best of the best, and that's why I'm doing this video, because I'm sure a lot of you are wondering, okay, I want to put together a system for either doing like simple video editing or photography or just like a powerful system overall to do your stuff, and you want to make sure you don't just throw away your money. So, you know, I, I went through that process, and the one thing I noticed was with this screen, and I do really like the Samsung screen, but I don't feel you need 24 inches if you're running uh, a 1080 resolution. You could really probably get away with a 21 or 22 because as the screen size goes up and your resolution stays the same, you can actually start to see the pixels if you really get up close. And, uh, you know, I guess what they call in photography, some of you pixel peepers and stuff like that you know when you zoom way in on a picture you could see like the nitty gritty well it's the same thing when you get right up to the screen you could see you know pixels a little bit so i wouldn't go any bigger than 24 inches with 1080 as a matter of fact if i could do it again maybe i would consider maybe going a little smaller just to keep you know the pixel size down a little bit but like i said i'm happy with it um it's nothing you know, it's just food for thought. I'm just throwing it out there in case you're, you know, a data point that you're trying to, you know, think about. So the next component I'd like to talk about are the speakers. Now, I didn't want to go with typical PC speakers. I wanted more of a studio monitor. Um, I noticed I was having some issues with sound levels because I would edit on my laptop and then I'd rewatch the videos on like my friend's computers, my friend's TVs. Now, I noticed that some of the sound levels were slightly off from what I was getting over my laptop with headphones. So I wanted something that would really accurately represent what the actual sound was doing during my render. So I researched this quite a bit, and uh, it was kind of tough because I wanted something at a low price point. You know, I'm not a full-on studio production, so I didn't want to go with anything too crazy, but I wanted something that was good and that accurately represented the sound. 
and I went through a ton of custom reviews and what I settled on were these Mackie CR4s and they're creative reference monitors and so far I'm really happy with them. They sound really good and I think they give the true sound and that's what a lot of the feedback on these speakers was saying is they're well built, well built and they give really good sound. And so far I've been really happy with them. I think it's a good component for any editing rig because you need to understand that, you know, sound is only second to, you know, what you're looking at. And a lot of people would even argue it's equally as important as the video you're putting out. If you can't hear what's going on and if your levels are all skewed, it's just not going to be a good video. Um, the next piece of the system, and you know, this might be, you know, kind of last but not least, is the mouse. And... I actually have a Razer Mamba mouse and a Razer Vespula mouse pad, and I like it. I like the Razer products. Um, they do a Gaming for Good uh, charity campaign, which I think is really cool. Um, actually, the mouse was actually a gift from my brother. I really like it. It's both wireless, and you can also hook it up for wire. Um, I like it. I like I like the options there. Uh, the mouse pad's great. It has the little wrist, you know comfort pad which is nice um, so I really like it it makes for good editing you could really get in there sometimes you gotta just you know you need the accuracy of the mouse when you're trying to clip together and merge together clips and just the overall control has been really good and I like it um, overall I feel this is a really solid system uh, I'm really happy with it uh, I hope to you know use it to make some really cool videos in the future and you know I wish you guys all luck putting together your own rigs you know whether you're going to build your own PC try to tackle that I, that's really cool I think maybe in the future that'd be something maybe I'd like to try to do um, there's a lot of information out there I definitely would say you know read customer reviews YouTube's an excellent source I just want to throw my opinions on since I just went through this process of trying to put a system together so, you know, good luck with everything. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll talk to you later.